realize, you know, how far I've come and what I've been through to get where I am today. So, you know, it was a, it was a pretty, pretty amazing moment. You've played here for years. This has been the most attended Memorial Stadium in, like, forever. Yep. You know, does that make a difference how the team plays, or is it just another day in the office? Well, yeah, that's the, the stadium and the fans, you know, that's always, you know, a, a big up, especially, you know, you got a good team coming into the stadium. So, you know, just having the, the whole community with us, you know, all these games, all the tennis, you know, over the years, you know, it really hasn't been like that. So it shows that the community has faith in us. You know, the hard work that we put in, you know, in the summer and fall camp and all that, it, it shows off on Saturdays. And it seems like you saved the best for last. I mean, you've been through the highs and the lows of the program, but to know that you put your final stamp in a game like that, how's that feel? I mean, it feels amazing, you know, just coming from, you know, my freshman year, just being, you know, doing whatever I could to be, be, be on the field and help the team win and just becoming the team captain and leading my team to a lot of victories and having a very special season, you know, at the University of Illinois. I feel like this was, at the end of the day, it's the right choice for me. You know, God put me in a great situation. You know, he, he gave me the great abilities, and, and now I just went out and worked. 130 yards, touchdown. Is it nice to kind of have that storybook ending at Memorial Stadium? Oh, yeah, of course. You know, I, I know my mindset was just go out there and put on the show. You know, I feel like I've been putting on the show the whole season, but to put my final stamp, you know, on my senior night last night at Memorial Stadium was special. Looking back, what do you think you're going to cherish the most from your time here? I would just say just my development, you know, from my freshman year to my senior year to becoming a leader, you know, just soaking up, soaking everything again and just everything went how I thought it would go. So, I mean, just being a leader, my main thing was just, just being being voted a leader my senior year was very special. So that'd be one thing I remember. What about senior Pat Bryant, my freshman Pat Bryant, be most surprised about? Uh, that's a great question. I just say the day-to-day -day work, you know, just coming in, you know, I was just, I was just, I was just worried about playing, not really focused on what it took to be, you know, a great big 10 route receiver. So just developing over the years and just learning stuff from, you know, different players that come through the program, different guest captains, and then just making great connections is really what helped me develop into a great route receiver. You know, Luke talked about you and Zakari, but what's Zakari's presence on the opposite side of the field? I mean, it, I mean, it's meant a lot, you know, just having those two weapons on both sides. It gives, it, it, not even just for me, just for a quarterback. You know, you can go either way. It's just at that point, it's just up to you, whoever you want to get the ball to. But Sakari's been a great addition ever since he came to the building, came in and worked, and then he's getting everything he deserves. Coach B just said back in his conference that he's talking to NFL scouts every day and really vouching for you. How does that feel to have that support from your coaching staff? I mean, it means a lot. Ever since I got here, Coach B's been, a, you know, a player first coach. And, you know, he's helped me, you know, throughout this process. We sat down, had a lot of hard conversations. But, you know, everything that he's taught me, not only how to be a player, but to understand the game of football has really helped me develop into the wide receiver I am today. So I just want to thank Coach B for, you know, for believing in me, even when he didn't recruit me. So I just want to thank him a lot for that. It looked like you had a double move on that long touchdown. Can you walk us through the route on that and how do you find yourself it's open? Uh, mm -hmm. So we had that route in for a couple weeks. I've been waiting to run it. So I felt like uh, I know Luke, if Luke got, uh, got enough time, I was going to get over. I know they paid man coverage. Safety was kind of to the boundary a little bit. So I know I had a lot of space to work. So. I knew if I sold it, sold it good enough that it DB a bite on it, and that's what he did. So I ran it a lot in practice. So I tried different ways to run it, whether it's off coverage, even even cover two, different things like that. But it went exactly as planned. Luke put the ball up, gave me a great chance, and I went and made a big play. Pat gives one in senior day and also plans to win the season for, the, for this year. How's that stuff make you feel? I mean, it makes me feel amazing, man. Just knowing that, you know, I was one of the captains and one of the leaders of this team that helped lead us to the to the success that we've been having means a lot. But at the end of the day, we still got two more games and a bowl game left. So we're just going to put our head down and keep grinding, man. It was, it was a great night tonight. We're going to come in on, on Sunday and fix things that need to be fixed, and then we'll be on the Rutgers. How'd it feel to get back in the end zone? Been a minute? Since oh, yeah. It's, it's been a while, man. I, I was kind of itching a little bit. But, hey, we know, like, with the plays that we had going in today, we want to attack the air a lot. So all I had to do was just, just do my job, and Luke was going to put me in a great position to make a great play. Did you have a sense their corner might be out, or were you surprised when you went out there and he wasn't there? Oh, so Charles, Charles, that's that's yeah. one of my homies from, from oh, back cool. home in yeah, Florida. Yeah. So, I mean, once I saw him get hurt, you know, nobody, you wish that right, on nobody. Right. But, you know, hey, it comes with the game of football. So once we heard that he was going to be out, so I mean, I mean, our objective was, you know, we're going to attack those guys that they're putting in, and that's what we did.